Today we're going to be building chicken brooder. Uh, I like the idea that Al over at Lemon Acres um, did with his. He built one that was collapsible. Um, I'm going to go ahead and build one very similar to that, except I'm going to make it a little longer. Uh, instead of 4x4, four four, I'm going to make it 4x8. Uh, mainly because I believe we're going to have cooler, colder temperatures longer than he is. He's over on the East Coast. I'm not sure if it's Maine or Pennsylvania or someplace over in that area. Um, but up here in Alaska, the snow that we have on the ground right now yes. fell like in November, December, a long time ago. And December. Yeah, December. Uh, and we've had more on top of that. So right now we've got at least, with melted, we probably have about 15 inches of snow on the ground in places. Um, so they'll be in the basement a lot longer. So I need to give them more room. So we're going to go ahead and cut some wood up. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and put this thing together. First thing we're going to do is we're going to cut our, our uh, sheets of plywood in half. So we'll have two by eight sections. This is the first time my son's been out in the shop working on some power tools. So I'm going to explain to him a little bit what we're supposed to do, what, he, what I'm expecting him to do right now. So when I put the piece of plywood up here, you're going to be over here holding it and slowly backing up, trying to keep it level to the top of this, okay, because we don't want it to go like this, because the blade won't, the blade won't uh, cut. Okay, the other thing is when you're backing up, make sure that the, the gap between them, that they don't go together, because as they go together, the blade will get pinched and it could shoot the wood backwards towards me, okay? So you want to just back up. You don't have to lift them. You don't have to carry them all. You're just going to have to hold it until it gets past the blade. And I'll turn the blade off and I'll come help you. Okay? okay? It's going to be loud. You don't need them. Oh, you can get splinters. Just don't run your hand along it. Don't don't go along the wood when you do it in the middle. So keep it. I can keep yeah. my hands underneath yep. the wood. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's gonna be loud. Okay. Um, I forgot to tell you one thing. What? We want this piece of wood here. This edge. To stay along this guy right here, okay? Okay. So we don't want it to get farther away. Okay? And I got a splinter. <laughs> One thing I was trying to prevent. Okay, you ready? How wide, how thick this wood is. Okay, so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to measure over here, over here. 
Okay, so what do you see? So you see how the woods? Two and three eighths. Don't worry about the two, just say it's three eighths. Three eighths. Okay, so each one of these pieces of wood inside here is one eighth thick, right? So we need to have a slot over that here. Is three eighths thick. Three eighths. So we're going to go a little bit bigger. That way they can slide together. So we're going to put a slot. Oh, oh, so they can come off easily? Yeah, so we're going to put a slot halfway up. So first thing we have to find out how far it's halfway. So Let's measure from the bottom. Two feet. So it goes to one foot? Yep. Okay, so now we need <laughs> to come over. One, two, three, nine? No. Three eighths. I'm going to go three eighths. I'm going to go a little bit bigger than three eighths. Okay, what do you think we're going to do next? Uh, move it. Okay, grab that one. Let's take them on the ground. Let's see how it's going to put together. Set it down. Okay. Okay. So now we just bring them down, go and bring them well, downstairs? Well, the thing is, can you see how the wood's bowed? Yeah. If we put them up there, that's going to bow too. So what I would like to do is find a four foot two by four and find the center and put a little thing just like we did here for a two by four that's four foot long. We'll do the same thing as a two by four. No, I want you to put it together so mom can see it. Yeah, let's see it. Take care of the girl, baby. To see what she's doing. Well, she's just hanging out. She's not doing Okay. Easy. Oreos. She's such a few beautiful ways. <laughs> I said three. Hold this in, Charles. Hold this in up right here. Showing the people. So, but that way I won't put a big old liner. Yeah. Well, you could do the plastic, and you no. could just line it up. You know what I mean? And tack it, tack it in. Instead of using a big old tarp, it's tarp is really heavy, but the, that plastic. Food's not going to be there, Charles. Food will be down. Yeah. But the plastic would probably work. Water. If you like the video, uh, please give me a thumbs up, uh, comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. You missed your cue. You missed your cue. <laughs> We're a black Get him off the set. <laughs> yes, I'll clean up for you. I'm going to show you what's going on over here. <laughs>